Hey girlfriends, I am on the way um, to my train to London um, and I'm so excited. I'm actually honestly really nervous too. I don't know why I'm so fucking nervous. I think it's because I'm staying in a hostel for the first time ever and like, <laughs> I don't know, it's like a eight bed hostel and I'm just, I don't know, I'm just fucking nervous. Um, so yeah. Here we go. So to get to the train, I take the ferry from Gosport um, to Portsmouth. So that's Portsmouth over there. I'll show you like all my fucking rings. That's right. I'm a, I'm a ring bitch. I think the reason why I'm so nervous about going on this is like one because of the hostel and like just like meeting new people and putting myself out there. But I've within like the past like months of being here I've realized like that is just like me and who I am personality wise and I think putting myself out on the internet as well um is really difficult because like like I think about oh you know what if someone doesn't agree with what I say or what if someone like you know is mean and if they truly were for me then they would support me and if they um are for me then they do support me and I realize the difference between the two I love to share my life and like that is just if you know me in person that's generally like what I love to do and like I am like this in person and I think letting the opinions of others and their comments affect me has really hindered me and I'm just fucking tired of it honestly so yeah yeah period bitch period Alright, I fucking made it to Portsmouth train station and I'm fucking so sweaty. Like, hoodie, sweats, and this big fucking jacket with this big ass bag. Why do I always do this? Oh. <sighs> A bitch is in motherfucking London. Thank God that train ride was so long and I literally fell asleep while I was reading a book. I'm trying to learn to read, but, or not to learn to read, but <laughs> be okay with reading. But I, I just get so tired, you know? Anyways, I just fucking love London. It's just like city and city. I love cities. I love cities. But also, a bitch is scared to do or to use the um, travel, underground travel transportation, like the buses, because like, I just am. So I'm walking two miles instead. <laughs> Call me crazy, but that's just me. I think my fucking shoulder is gonna break. But like truly, really, I, it feels like it hurts. <laughs> but it's okay. That's what I get for not doing public transportation. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't know. What is that? I don't know what that is. That is the Elizabeth Tower. That's what that is. Bro, bro. Roses Thai Cafe. Shit's bomb. Hmm. Roses Thai food fucking hit the spot. Hit the spot. So now I must continue on my way to my hostel. I really want to take a nap. Honestly, I kind of want to go back home, but we're not going to. All right, guys, I just got to my hostel room. I got a, um, it's a six bed one, and I think there's only one other person that's staying in here, but no one's in here. I got the top bunk, which honestly I'm not mad about, so no one can have sex on top, you know? 
but um, um, I think I made out for a hotel, not a hostel. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like the pictures looked way different. That's fucked up. <laughs> But, you know, I'm not mad because I get to, like, s my phone's about to die, so I get to, like, just chill here for a little bit, take a breather, get my poop in a group, and then go out. Maybe go grab a beer or something. I don't know, but I really just want to stay in a hotel. <laughs> Yesterday was such an event. I uh, I think I had a, my first like panic attack. Honestly, um, I got to my hostel and I was like, "What the fuck is this?" Like, it did not look anything like the pictures. Um, and I don't know. I just felt like unsafe. And I wanted to do like an all girl dorm but they didn't have any so I had to sleep in a co-ed and there were two grown men one his name was Keen he was nice he didn't speak English really um and I was on top and he was on the bottom and then this other guy fuck I don't know but he snored so goddamn loud and so yeah, and then I was just like, I want to go back home. <sighs> so yeah, it was an event, but um, I cried. I was like, I don't want to do this. Um, but I did it, and I am having breakfast. Having breakfast at the Breakfast Club, um, and I got pancakes and berries. And then I don't know what else I'm going to do today, but I'm going to enjoy it and take it all in. A breather. Yesterday was an event. I fucking hiked the two miles. I'm never doing that again. I'm fucking Ubering. I'm not taking the public transportation because you have to have like a card and I don't have that. Not. So, yeah. Oh my god. It's the pancakes, berries, and cream. Ugh. I'm a little lad who likes bears and cream, bears and cream, bears and cream. Y'all, this shit's fucking, what the, the fire. Alright, there is a London Eye. It's so fucking big. It's huge. One of those things are like, it's like a blimp, honestly. And then there is the um, Elizabeth Tower and then Big Ben. I am about to head into the aquarium and look at all the animals. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So come along. And I got, I got some snackies, I got salt and vinegar, and some barbecue. There's a big ass shark in there. Salt and vinegar, Pringles, fucking smack. Or Hogan. And these turtles are so big. Where'd I go? Give me some fin. No, I can Dude. Almost the same teeth. <laughs> 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 right, 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 right. On to snack number two, Pringles barbecue. Mm -hmm. 
If you know me, you know how I feel about snakes. I don't fuck with them. There's two of them. And they're both facing the other way, so thank God they're not. This way. Homegirl Wibby. Another Nemo reference. I'm Darla. I'm a piranha. I live in the Amazon. I just want to see him eat something, you know? Fucking mount, mount, munch, munch down. Oh, I love like aquariums and in zoos. I don't know if that's like a bad thing, but I, I, I love them. Like, I think they're so cool and like, like what the water, you know? Anyways, we're about to see some penguins. Y'all know what's up. Ooh, Antarctica. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm able to do this by myself, but it's also like I see everyone like with their significant other and I'm like, Whoa. All right, that was the aquarium. Um, it's a little bit gloomy out right now. Um, kind of crazy how like, if this makes sense to anyone but like you walk around and you're like holy shit like you have a whole ass life and like you're in a like different country too like there's millions and millions of people who have like their own lives like that's fucking just just crazy yeah i just got interviewed for the local london news about how this cop took a picture of two girls that were murdered and sent it out without it being like investigated first and then he asked me a question about how the police in london how one guy raped this girl i don't know and how it makes me feel oh yeah yeah which I think is really good um, for the season of life that I'm in right now. Um, yeah, I had kind of like a sad moment. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what? It's okay. Like, I just like validated how I felt and move on. Like, it's okay to feel like this. Continue and keep going. So, this is my view. I am sitting at the Thai restaurant that I was at yesterday and I came back because it was literally so good. Um, don't mind my blue light glasses, it made me feel smart. Um, but I'm having a glass of wine and the calamari is so freaking good. Like just more fresh and just better than like the calamari that I've had in America. They're just like small and like, I don't know, like not good. Um, so yeah. That is my experience so far at Rose's Thai Cafe, and it's so freaking good. And I'll have it again and again. I think that might be my food. I don't really know. We'll see. It just a sucker. Bro, this fucking curry is so good. You know what I mean? Like, mmm, mmm, mmm. I think I might have another glass of warm. Too. Sorry, I keep looking at myself, but the camera's right there, but yeah. yeah. I made it back to my hostel, and now I'm going to take off my makeup and chill for the rest of the night, because it's been a long day. Long day. I, like, learned a lot, even though it was, like, only in two days, like, I learned a lot about myself and what I want. I am leaving London today. I came here with like no expectations, obviously. Um, but 
I feel like I really got clarity um, in what, in my life, coming on the show, coming to the hostel, being with these people that I have no idea about. Um, so it was like, it was scary, honestly, but it was really good for me and a growth point for me. Um, so I'm on my way to this little place called where the pancakes at, where the pancakes are. And then I'll probably take an Uber to the bus station and head my way or head, take my ass home.